Hey guys, Sketch here, and today I'm going to talk about why the microwave tank is underrated to say the least. Uh, now the microwave tank has become something of a meme tank to play with, filling a rather weird niche in the USA arsenal. Now just a little housekeeping before we get into the run proper, if you like what you're watching and you want to see more of it, please go ahead and give this video a like. It's free and it helps this channel out greatly. Subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload more like this. Every sub is going to help this channel out and is greatly appreciated. And with that, let's get into the video. So just some basics about the microwave tank. First, it costs 800 bucks per tank. It becomes available after you get your strategy center. And it has two functions, to passively microwave enemy troops around the tank and a direct attack that disables buildings and kills troops garrisoned in buildings. In addition, it can receive bonuses from the composite armor for about 25% extra health and advanced training to double veterancy rate. Now, aside from meme value, people don't use this kitchen appliance as competitively for a few reasons. Its abilities are somewhat redundant because firstly, flashbangs can kill garrison troops anyway, and secondly, if you can get that close to infantry to passively burn them, you could run them over just as well. On top of that, microwave tanks don't have any defense against tanks, or rockets for that matter, and simply end up being there to soak up damage. What, you run out of marines? If you have an issue with base defenses, you have many more viable options at your disposal. On top of that, they have to travel with the Avengers and main battle tanks, and we know how well that goes against rocket bees, buggies, quads, and overlords. But that's all in the multiplayer where you fight actual people. Uh, unfortunately, that makes the microwave tank an underrated tool that gets ignored in scenario play, such as in the general's challenge. And one of the places that the microwave tank really shines is in the stealth challenge. Those of you familiar with the stealth challenge will know that the prince likes to spawn rebels in the three corners of your base and spawn a sneak attack in your base as well. And guess what? The microwave tank is the perfect answer to both. You just have to bring one tank to each corner and they will eat all the rebels for breakfast without breaking a sweat. Plus if they begin to run low on health, you can simply get a battle drone to repair them up. Sneak attacks are also answered really well by the microwave tank as they disable the sneak attack for another attacking unit to finish it off. On the offensive, you can even bring a single microwave tank to stop Prince Kassad's hijackers, although you probably should be using Pathfinders to scout the front instead. Finally, you can disable his base defenses and turn his garrison troops into casserole from nice distance while the rest of your army finally brings the heat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, have a nice day.